Hi everyone once again, I am Evdon Sikat from the Philippines and from the Graduate School of Engineering. And I am David Blanco from Colombia, also a student at the Graduate School of Engineering. Yep, and right now behind us is actually the Census Building, where it means the Center for Sustainability Science, where students can learn about the sustainability issues we're facing right now. The Census Building is located in the campus, right here is the main gate, and we walk all through here, here is the Sustainability Science uh, Building. Right behind we can find the Hokkaido University Museum that we will can access later on. And uh, for the time being, let's go and we will meet a special professor today, yes. right? Yes, we're going to meet Tony, one of the very nice professor here in sustainability science. So, let's follow go. us. You can we, see. we had our own experience here, right? Yeah, we were part of the Hokkaido University Interdepartmental Graduate Studies yes. in Sustainability. Yes. And you were in? A stress program that is the specially coordinated training program mm -hmm. for sustainability leaders and sustainability meisters. But we will know more about them once we meet Tony. So let's go inside following me. Professor Tony. Okay. Hey. Nice to see you again. Yeah, you too. Welcome to Census. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Well, let's go inside. What can I do for you today? Well, we will have a little show, a little yeah. questions. People want to know, people really want to know what is census, what is yeah. sustainability all about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So, I'll do my best. Yep, so right here we can see the brochures, right? About yeah, the program itself. This is some of our educational materials right here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And mm -hmm. if we continue, then we can see some of the research that is conducted here. And all the, also other partners conducting other researchers. And I think we're going to enter the high tech so classroom. Lecture room? Let's yes. go into the lecture room. Come on in. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I will go. Yeah. I will go first. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. All right. So, what would you like to talk about? Okay, Tony. People want to know more about yourself. So can you make a little introduction about you? Okay, well my name's Tony Chittenden. I'm an assistant professor here at Census, the Centre for Sustainability Sciences. I'm originally from New Zealand. I have uh, trained as an ecologist mm -hmm. uh, and then I ended up working here. Uh, my main fields of interest here are food issues, food security, etc., water issues, and given the interesting nature of our educational arrangement here in Census, I'm also in interested in ICTs, Information and Communication Technologies. Wow, such a combination, right? <laughs> it's a big word. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Professor, can you tell the audience what Census is all about and what makes it unique to other programs? Well, sustainability uh, is, is a rather new field mm -hmm. if we're talking about teaching in universities. So, uh, right away, we're a unique program. Yes. Uh, we don't have any other rivals mm -hmm. in this field right now. And our program, we have several features that I feel makes it quite unique. Uh, one would be our staff. Uh -huh. All our staff have international backgrounds. They're all bilingual. Some of them speak more than two languages. Mm -hmm. uh, we teach a rather interesting range of courses. Uh, we have our two flagship programs, Quigs and Stress. I might talk a bit more about them if there's time later on. And also, we use uh, the internet and a video conferencing system, <coughs> excuse me, to broadcast many of our lectures out to our overseas partners. We have six universities around the world mm -hmm. that we uh, deal with intensively, and we share lectures between them using the internet, as you can see behind me. This works uh, in the sense that we have some cameras that are stationed around the room, and in the roof we have microphones, and we have what's known as a multi-point server, which lets us connect several locations at once, yeah. and we can have real-time interactions. Mm -hmm. You can see on the television screen here, uh, this is one particular example. This is recorded, but this is to show you how we connect up. This is a lecturer from Hokkaido University, Sapporo campus. He is giving a lecture, and he is broadcasting it to several locations in Hokkaido, uh, Hakodate Fisheries campus. Uh, to Shimokawa town in North Hokkaido, uh, to Indonesia, and, and also to Africa. 
While I mention our partner yeah. institutions, I should perhaps show you on this small map here. I hope you can see it. But we are based up in Sapporo, Hokkaido yes. University Sapporo campus. Just below that is Hakodate campus. Mm -hmm. We also beam out into Tainan City in Taiwan, National Chengkum University. Uh, in Hanzhou City, Zhejiang University in China. Two universities in Indonesia, University of Palankalaya in central Kalimantan, and also Gajamada University in Yogyakarta in Java. And our other partner is all the way over in West Africa in uh, Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso, the International Water Institute. So depending on their schedules, we, are, we can hook up all of the universities at once and we can uh, either receive lectures from them or give lectures to them. It's really, it's really impressive, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But I want to ask you, uh, so a student comes and finishes his master here, or how is, how is it? No, uh, stress, uh, census I should say, does not offer degree programs. Mm. We take students who are interested in sustainability who are already studying here at the university. So again, another asset of our classroom is that the students come from engineering, from agriculture, from fisheries, from medicine, and they completely go out of their comfort zone mm -hmm. in this classroom and they enter a new world, the world of sustainability, mm -hmm. and they learn many different things that they didn't previously know. Wow. So they get a very special opportunity mm -hmm. to learn things mm -hmm. that they wouldn't otherwise get to learn at university. Well, that makes it really unique. So how about the classes since we're conducting uh, to a different uh, graduate school engineering? So can you give the audience an idea of the classes you offer here? Okay, so as I briefly mentioned earlier, we have two flagship programs. One is called WIGS, and this one actually is aimed at giving a very broad overview mm -hmm. of sustainability issues. And our second flagship program is called STRESS. This is more in-depth, this is more hands-on, and it's aimed at giving a practical perspective, practical perspective mm -hmm. to our students. Uh, perhaps I can give you an idea of some of our courses. We have one called Sustainability Science 1. Mm -hmm. That is a very broad-based course. Yes concerned with natural sciences, from a natural science perspective. Mm -hmm. And we run that simultaneously with Sustainability Science 2, which is all from a uh, social sciences background. Mm -hmm. So we also get to learn things like ethics or law, uh, medical, all sorts of mm -hmm. social science background things. Then when we go to stress, we have two rather unique courses. We have a leadership course taken yes. here. So in show the students the importance of good leadership and, the and how tragic bad leadership can be. <laughs> and we also have another course, Culture and Language and Regional Studies. Uh -huh. That is basically aimed at getting the students an awareness of the importance of culture in our lives, how culture affects what we do, how we think. Mm -hmm. So basically not only the technical but the social aspect. No, that's right. That's right. That's very interesting, Professor. And I have to ask you, can you give us a profile of the students that have graduated? Do you know where are they now working? What are they doing? Okay, sure, I can do that. So, uh, two of the students, uh, international students, who have graduated from our uh -huh. uh, programs. One is now based back in Zambia. He's working in a university as a faculty member in Zambia. And another one is in China. He's working also in his university in China. We've also had two Japanese students graduate from our programs, and one, he is now working with JICA, the Japanese International Cooperation Agency, mm -hmm. in West Africa, in Gabon. And a fourth student now is going on to postgraduate studies in Canada. I believe he's connected mm -hmm. to you, and he's going to talk to you now. Okay, yeah. so that's right, that's right. We are now connecting to Keita. Yep. Hello, Keita. Nice to Hi. meet you. I'm David Blanco from Colombia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well, very well. I believe you are which, you're in Canada, right? Where are you in Canada? And can you tell us a, brief, a little about yourself, about how did you get there? Okay, the, now I'm in Vancouver, in Canada. And uh, I was a master's student at the Environmental Science at Hokkaido University and uh, got the diploma of two weeks from the census. And now I am doing a master's in economics at the University of British Columbia and studying the fundamentals of the economics in order to apply them to the natural resource management. Ah, very well, I see. Very well. So, hi, Keita. By the way, I'm Evden. I also hi. study here. So, 
uh, since we both study here, I would like to ask you and share the audience, what is your experience like in learning in census? All right, so the experience, actually I was involved a lot in census when I was in Hokkaido. So I had a lot of variable experience, but mm -hmm. one of the experience is the practical work such as Frano field trip. Uh, we had a field trip to Frano in Hokkaido and visit some places such as uh, related the sustainability, such as the farm or recycle plants or sightseeing hotels. Then the, a group of us discussed on that uh, how we can make the Frano more sustainable. And at least, uh, at last, we had a presentation to the staff of the city hall people. Mm -hmm. And from this experience, I learned how we can apply the knowledge of the, or in the class, uh, we learned in the class. So sustainability is a practical issue. So not only in the class, so we, we should, idea should be applied to real life or real mm -hmm. world. So that's the experience. Okay, that's really nice. So. And uh, maybe I'd just like to ask you once again, uh, why is it important? I mean, uh, How can ha has census? I mean, has census been an instrument while you are yep. right there in Canada right now? So uh, why you mean why I'm in Canada? Yeah, has it been an instrument? I mean, census did it help yeah, you? Census. Yes, yes, something like that. Yeah, answer like the there are two big the benefit from the census, and one is the. Uh, kind of wide field of view or horizon of the interdisciplinarity. Mm -hmm. Because yes. the master's students or maybe PhD students as well, uh, they focus on their research in yes. their department and so they deepen their knowledge on their, their own field, but they lose the opportunity to acquire things in other fields and discuss with other new other other field, uh, people in other fields. So the I am studying at UBC and I live in this here is a residential college called the Green College, which is the uh, interdisciplinarity residential college. Mm -hmm. And here the graduate students and the resident students are the postdoc share the meal time. We get a meal together. And we talk about the wide range of things, including the daily life and uh, some academic topics. Mm -hmm. And I can discuss on the wide range of the academic few thanks, thanks courses of the census. And uh, I learned about very variety of the field and uh, how these fields are related to each other. So I can talk about this kind of things. That was one of the benefits. And the other is about my career itself, because when I got into the master program at Hokkaido, I have no plan with my future. And uh, I did not know what should I do, but the census, opened my eyes, I mean, the sense for the census, I recognize that there are opportunity in all over the world, not only in Japan. And the people say like, the go global or be a global person, but it was not the realistic for me at that time. But the sense for the census, that I experienced the international environment as a practical manner, and studying in foreign country became a one of the option and eventually it became true now. Your reality. So <laughs> yeah, so one of the reasons is English, but this is not only the English, but the more practical experience in census is makes me more global person. That's very interesting to share with us. Thank you so much for your time, Keita. Thank you, Keita. Keita. And uh, we hope to meet you again in the future, right? <laughs> and somewhere in interdisciplinary work. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you. Well, there you have it. That's why we're really lucky to experience census, right? Yes, we change your mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Learn a lot from it. <laughs> but before we end this report, actually, uh, Professor, do yes. you have any final word to anyone who is interested in learning in census? Yes, I do. Uh, anyone who is interested in learning in census, I strongly urge you to come and see us. We offer something that's quite unique, certainly in Japan, quite possibly in the world. So come and see us, come and study with us, and uh, have a challenge. Yes. Okay? And more information, you can see it on the link that we have up in the corner. That will be the link for the sustainability science yes. program offered. So for more greater information about what we offer and what I've talked about today, just have a look at that link. Okay. And hopefully we'll see you. Mm. Okay? Yeah, sure.
Thank you very much. This is David reporting from Census. And this is Evden. And see you next time. Thank Bye. you so much. Thanks Bye -bye. for coming. Bye-bye.